Hello there. Sorry, the brand new pet influencer event in DML is now here. And as soon as you open up your game, you will be greeted with this screen here where it says celebrate world animal day with us. Choose a pet dragon and get it for only one amulet in the fluffiest treasure hunt event. And so I've said it before, but today we are going to be picking the best of the three. Maxine, the fluffy corgi. And so when we click this dragon, and when you click the first dragon yourself, it will take you to the event screen. Don't worry about this. That's Chrono Rising. Dungeon is done. That's other stuff. That's other stuff. We got seventh in the other event. It's all good. But since we've picked the Corgi now, we will be able to unlock this primal dragon for just a single, single amulet. And so that is what we are going to do. Maxine is a primal earth and plant dragon and we will be able to see the others when we enter this event as well but now we have a corgi themed event which is wonderful but if we click on the left we can enter the altar section of the event and you'll see that maxine is one bone and you can take a look at the dragons you can read their description if you want to there they are the other dragons that we have are maya and Juniper the Fox. So Maya is 40 amulets and so is Juniper because I picked Maxine. And if you picked Maya, Maya would be one amulet and the other two would be 40 amulets. But because I picked the Corgi, the other two now become 40. But Maya is a primal wind and metal who I would say is probably one of the least useful, if not the least useful out of this. And then Juniper, I would say has the potential to be used as like a six or seventh team member if you just really want to add a primal. But Juniper is a primal fire and energy dragon and is of course a fox. So if you wanted the fox, that's who you would get. The other dragons that we've got in this event are the polar bear dragon and the seahorse dragon. And they are both ten amulets. So you'll probably be able to get your hands on the first primal you pick, a second primal you pick, and maybe one of these epics, but you're not going to be getting all three primals free to play. Like, it's it's not happening. It's just not going to happen. So don't expect to get all three of these primals. Two of them, doable. All three, definitely not. But anyway, I think that we should go ahead and unlock Maxine right now. Because you'll see that you start off with 100 shovels. And that means that you can use all of them and you are guaranteed whichever primal you chose at the beginning of the event. And so we will also get other rewards like tickets, we'll get gold, we'll get gems. The main thing that I love about these primal events are the arena energies that we can collect. Because I've used them before to get the arena dragons and I would love to do it again. But there we go, there is our first amulet. It took over 10 tiles, so that was below average luck. Because essentially, it takes 10 tiles on average before you'll find an amulet. So if you get it on your 10th tile, that's expected. If you get it after your 10th, that's slightly below average. If you get it on your 20th, that was very unlucky. If you get it in your first, very lucky. But the average is 10, or roughly around that mark. But anyway, we got our first amulet and that means it is time to unlock Maxine. There we go. Maxine the Corgi. Wonderful. So we will claim that bad boy. And the thing is about these dragons, I've heard that apparently this is the case for all of them. Apparently all of these primals have a very short hatching time. So if we go ahead and pop this primal dragon here into our hatchery, you'll see that it has a 30 minute timer, which means that one ad view, and that's it, a new primal will be yours. And so that is exactly what I just did. So one ad view, 30 minutes skipped, we have a new primal to add to our island. So look at this very, very fluffy corgi egg. Imagine getting an IRL corgi from an egg. That's very weird. But anyway, there it is, our first primal of this event. So, you know, all things considered, just playing this event, you can get your hands on a free dragon immediately. And this sort of thing, I'm a big fan of. More events like this, please. You know, just for logging in, and then we can, you know, play the whole event for one of the other ones. That's fine. Oh my goodness, they're digging. You digging there, Maxine? I see you there. 
So I'm going to go and place them over here. And then that is 754 dragons, I believe, on our islands as of Maxine's edition. So from City Streets to the Dragonlandian Archipelago, Maxine has temporarily traded her carrier for a pair of dragon wings, officially making her the Maxine Dragon. Where will she go today? Because Maxine in their actual um, channel and stuff like that. It's just about Maxine going to different places, like on buses and things like that. So instead of them being flung around in a little backpack, they can just fly there now. So there you go. We have a flying dog. Uh, I don't think the baby looks very different to the adult one, but look at him go. Look at him go. Look at Maxine the Corgi go. Very cool. Uh, Corgi is definitely the best pick from this event. If you picked Maya, then I will have words with you. Just saying. Um, you can pick whoever you want, obviously, but Maxine the best. Hashtag Corgi the best. They were also the uh, the, the favourite pet of the Queen. Rest in peace, Queen. Um, but Corgi it is. Very fluffy Corgi. I mean, the wings get a lot bigger in the adult form as well, but... We have a corgi, a very fluffy, chonky corgi that we'll probably never look at again. But new primal, not that we're ever going to use it because primals aren't very useful. But, you know, we could see them there. We can take a look at them every so often when we're looking around our islands and think, hey, look, it's the dog. And then that'll be like it. So, of course, the other part to this primal event is that we do have island quests that you'll need to complete in order to get more of your currency for this event. And so these are very simple, very, very easy quests. Collecting gold, collecting food, winning battles, but you only have to do each of them twice, which makes this incredibly easy for an event. And also we are going to have those very long timers with this event as well. So catching creatures, again, that is for the solo event. But we've got those two done. The only other one that we need to do is win battles. And then all of these will be collected. But we do have those very long 12-hour resets for this event. Which means that you only need to log in twice a day. And just keep hoarding all of your event currency. Spend it all at once and see what you get is what I would say. But remember that during this event it is random as to what is in every single tile. So don't expect that you can game the system. There is no pattern. It is random. It's generated upon click, as far as we are aware. So, uh, yeah, don't think that you can beat the system. So the other thing that we've got going on at the moment alongside that is a solo event. And in this, we do have the Cheesecake Dragon available for anyone that doesn't have it. I don't have it, but I can't really do solo events with my current schedule. Uh, so I doubt we're going to be able to finish this, but we can at least pretend like we're trying to finish it right and not skipping reset timers and things like that when we could just do them. So we better do them. And, you know, solo events are the same as always. You've got the quests, do the quests, use the DML wiki to guide you as to how soon you can log in again to collect more of the items. It's as simple as that. We've seen solo events hundreds of times at this point. We do also have two new dragons to get hatching soon in the hatchery. I don't actually have any room though, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I have absolutely zero space to be putting them down. I think I might need to actually clear an area. Um, I guess I should do that right now, because if I don't start clearing areas down here, I legitimately will not have any space. Um, so let's do that now. But we'll keep logging in for the solo adventure, see what we get. But definitely the primal event is going to be the main priority for me. We've also got this beautiful blueberry in the dungeon. And it turns out I don't have it on this account. I thought I did. Oh, damn it. Now I actually have to log into dungeon. Oh, why? That's just put me in a foul mood. Put me in an ugh and a defiance as well. Disgusting. Ugh, more things putting me in a foul mood here. Anyway. I guess for now, um, we will just skip out of here, ignore that. We'll do our two battles quests quickly before I forget, because I will definitely forget otherwise. But make sure you're logging in for the resets at least, because it's very doable to get those other primals, at least one of the other primals. So 
no reason not to be logging in for this very, very chilled out event. Even if you ignore the soul event, even if you ignore the dungeon, even if you ignore the clan event, at least, at least you can, you know, get something for free. Well, one of the primals for free, maybe some other stuff for free as well. But, you know, you do you. If you want to play it, play it. If you don't want to play it, don't play it. I'm not going to force anything. At least this week, our breeding den is free for anyone that needs to use it to actually get basic dragons, apart from the solo event, obviously, but you can normally do that with fire plus wind, so that's not too much of a problem, but for now, I guess we will mainly uh, just do our, the rest of our daily quests here. 16 KOs in the dungeon, I suppose that we can get that done now if we need to, we can definitely get that done game, but like I said, the problem with this primal event mainly, aside from it being the typical RNG thing that we've known by now because it's treasure hunt, treasure hunt events are just RNG fests, uh, the, the main problem is just the fact that primals aren't very useful. Which does kind of suck because, you know, I get new players all the time that seem to believe that primals are good and it's like, no, primals are not good. I don't know who told you that. But they are not good. I definitely don't think you should use them. Just to look at them, go crazy. Just look at your primals, enjoy looking at your primals, um, enjoy the dogs. But just be aware that they're not particularly useful for anything. You can, in theory, use them for the arena. But you could just use divines for that. You know what I mean? You could just use regular epics for that. The, the main problem with primals is just the fact that they're not good in the dungeon. And considering that dungeon is a really, really big part of the game, having a dragon that's bad at that is... Well, it makes them terrible. You know, maybe if the events do change, like when we get the new style of divine and ancient events, maybe, depending on how they do it, maybe we will actually get events where primals are really good. I think that's a little bit hopeful of me to say that, but it could happen, right? I'm not going to say it's impossible. It's definitely possible. I just think it's very unlikely. But, you know, we'll wait and see. I don't want to say, ooh, ooh, Primer's going to sucky wucky forever, because no one knows that. No one knows what's coming up with the new style of events that they keep talking about. Anything is possible from here. So, even though I would advise that you still make a good dungeon team and good arena team, you know, an all-encompassing team, essentially, it could change and dungeon may not be the main, I guess, uh, event type anymore. So, it could be very exciting for DML, it could be absolutely awful for DML. Like, they could make it super duper pay to win, but if... This Maxine event, for example, is anything to go by, you know, they're actually implementing an event where you just get a free dragon as soon as you play it. And we don't have too many events like that. So every time they do something positive like that, I'm going to be very grateful for it and just hope that we can get more of the same sort of thing. No, don't kill Silver, no! Fine, Silver's still alive. We're okay, we're Gucci. Not that I'm really caring too much about this because I just want to get this done skis for now. Just for at least some bonus points and then we can get the second reset done. Lovely jubbly. It's a daily dungeon grinding when I don't care about how good the dungeon run goes. It, it goes terribly. I just don't care enough. I genuinely do not. <laughs> I don't have enough patience to care. But you really should care about your dungeon every week because you can get more of the dungeon island stuff unlocked. There's always all the dungeon dragons to unlock, which I still haven't done. Oh my days. Am I ever going to unlock, like, the ghost? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, we're at 30 KOs now, which means that we can die happily. There we go. Die happily. Lovely Erlang Shen. Then we can come back, do more later. If I was tryharding the dungeon, we could easily get way over that, but YOLO, who needs that? 
Um, we can hope for a very lucky blueberry chest too. Maybe one day. Maybe this week. Maybe a red chest. Maybe a blue chest. Dunno. Dunno. I didn't need Hades last week, which means I'm not completely burnt out on dungeon. Thank goodness. Anyone that has been basically doing four to five weeks of dungeon now after the previous event, you know, I feel for you. I really do. I don't, I can't do that. I would rather commit self-harm, I think, eh, on a minor degree. Maybe just a little bit of a punch to my thigh or something like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's mainly what I wanted to go through for today. We've got feeding and collecting gold to do just before I leave. But, you know, super easy events this week. Nothing too strenuous, nothing too panicky or anything like that. So... All I can really do is wish you the best of luck with your treasure hunting. Again, it's random, so good luck with your shovels. I hope that you get many amulets and get an amulet every five tiles. There you go. I hope you get them every five. Or every seven. Let's be more reasonable. Every eight. There you go. Even if you get one every eight tiles, you'll be way ahead. There you go. That's my hope for you this week. But anyway, I appreciate you being here. And until next time, adios.